Hello, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips for personal safety and for emergency preparedness with your family. Let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button also if you like these tips and please share this video if you think that it will help you or somebody that you care about. One of the big things that you can do with your family is to make sure that your kids and your family have safe words so that other people don't know or don't know what they mean. So if your kids are going to a party or something and they're not gonna be comfortable and they wanna go home, but they don't want their friends to know that they want to get out of that situation or they're around adults that they're not comfortable with, like they went to a friend's house and the friend's uh, parents are totally weird and creepy and they wanna be, they wanna come home and they can't say it in front of the adults they can use the code word and you know immediately I'm going to pick up my kid. You both have this agreed upon words that you're going to use. So if it's something that's something weird, is our aunt coming to town this weekend? For example, that was mine. Um, and that way your kids and you both know that there's something weird and you need to go pick them up right now. You are at home and there could be an intruder. This could be a different safety word. So. So for this tip for the home intrusion situation, you would have a code word that the person in the house, if there is something going on in the house and the person is coming into a bad situation, the person inside the house is going to, to say to the person who's entering the house or on the phone before the person comes home so that the person knows that what's ever going on in the house that is not okay. There is something going on. There could be an intruder. There could be somebody there that is suspicious, there's something messed up going on and that person needs to be on high alert. So it could be something like, is the stuff in the oven done? And the person who is at home with the intruder or whatever would say that code word so that the person knows who's coming into the situation, hey, there's something going on in my house that is sketchy and I need to be on high alert. I need to bring in a weapon. I need to make sure I can defend my family. If someone has my wife tied up at home or whatever the case is, you can create various safety words for different type of situations so that the person knows that whatever's going on is not okay. So did you pick up the Chinese food? Or if you are saying a type, if you're saying a code word, hey, I really want Mongolian beef for dinner. So you're on the phone and you're like, I wish I, and they say act normal. And you say, I wish I had Mongolian beef, but everybody in your family knows you don't like Mongolian beef. That's not something you would eat. The, your family knows by what you're saying that these type of things are, there's something wrong. There's something not normal and they need to help you wherever you are. They now know they need to be on alert and they need to figure out what to help you get out of the situation. And I highly recommend that you incorporate this into your plan so that you can alert your family to different times when there may be unsafe situations going on, that you don't feel comfortable around a person, that you need to get out of a situation, or that your family needs to know, hey, I can't talk right now, but there is something serious that you need to be aware of. You need to call somebody, you need to get help without saying, hey, help me. So that's one of my big emergency preparedness, personal safety tips for today. Go ahead and create some code words. One of the biggest issues that people have with personal safety and emergency preparedness is that they don't actually plan for an emergency. If you have a plan in place, you're gonna be so much more equipped to deal with whatever situation you're dealing with, and you're gonna have increase your odds of getting out of that emergency by so much. So just go ahead and plan like, hey, what is this emergency that could happen and how can I prepare for it? And I really hope that this helps you and I hope that you have some fun with your family creating some of these safe words and I hope that it helps.